Right. Oh, good. It's good. Um, some things. W I think something's weird. But is it good now? Okay. Okay. Good evening. Welcome to another practice session. Oh, hmm. Okay, so. Let me check. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Wait. Let me check something first. Hello, Naomi. Thank you for your favor. Okay, so oh no, is it glitchy now? The audio. Sorry, I think there's a problem. Okay, how is it now? Okay, welcome to another practice. Okay, so it's uh, I'm not sure what's wrong with this. Okay, testing. Testing, how is it? <laughs> I'm not sure why. Okay. Okay. Not sure what's the problem. Okay, um, testing. Testing. Might be a connector problem, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, welcome to the <laughs> session.
checking. How is it now? I think it's looking good. All right, there's no more peaking, I see. I think it's the problem with... I'm using a reverb that's taking a bit CPU power, so that's been jamming my CPU bandwidth, which is why we're having such problems. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's continue. So today I'm going to be doing the Mozart concerto. I'll be ta uh, taking this slowly, I hope. I can progress even more today. So how is it? The no problem? From what I see there's no problem. So I hope there is no problem in your end as well. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we're continuing that that Mozart concerto. Hmm. I think some things. Oh, uh, oh yeah. I I turned off the uh, sound card, which made the uh, effects not working. So I need to open it again. Right, okay, software's back up. Yep, it's working now. All right, so uh, last time I was in this part, wait. Okay, I was there last time, but it's still not, I'm still not doing great there. Okay, I think that's good. Now continuing to the next part. This part is quite tricky. Where? Wait. Where is it? In the page? There it is. goes like that left hand goes like that the right hand goes like The right hand part in this, this one it's a bit tricky. So I need to hit this one quick and clear without sounding like mud. And at speed it's quite difficult to do. Yep, it's quite difficult to do.
Okay, I need to... I need to connect this node. I need to connect this node, but I need to separate between the F sharp and the D. Yep, like that, but um... Yep. Hello, Ada. How are you? Hmm, I'm not sure if I have to play it staccato or legato. Hmm. I think that sounds a bit better. Oh, thank you. Okay, it's quite tricky in this part. Thank you for following, Amia. It's good to see you again, Ida. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, thank you for your fireworks. I still connected the F sharp and the D, I need to separate it. Like that. Oh, thank you for a broadcast hour, Ida. Speed. That I think that's better, much better. Still a bit muddy. Still a bit um. Not quite.
Yo, thank you for following, Jai. So this one's a bit tricky to make sound because to make the melody like this because the left hand is repeating as well. So basically the left hand was pressing the uh, A note as well before the left right hand which make it a bit hard. So basically, if, if I did not time it correctly, it doesn't sound like that. So the A won't sound again, won't play the melody. Like that. Like that, it won't sound. So basically I want it to sound it like to sound like that. Hello Ito. I hope you like the stream. I'm practicing piano, practicing a Mozart piano concerto. So I want the right hand to sound clear. Sure, I'll play Chopin later. Okay, like that. So the, the piece I'm practicing now is uh, Mozart's Piano Concerto number 12 in A major.
so it will be played with an orchestra but right now I am practicing for the solo piano part first Mozart is actually um, every pianist's nightmare. So I um, I've said it repeatedly, but Mozart sounds simple, but that's where the difficult part is. Because when you make a mistake or you you're not playing it well, it shows. You can definitely hear it if you don't play it well. Compared to some other virtuosic or difficult pieces where ha they have many notes, you can kind of um, mask your mistakes because there are so many notes and you just basically don't hear it. But when it comes to Mozart, the notes and melodies are so simple. You make one mistake, everyone's gonna hear it. You don't play it well, you don't sound the note well, everyone's gonna hear it. Fun fact, um, Chopin is highly influenced by Mozart, but uh, his music style, you can kind of, um, it's very distinct, even though he is very, very inspired and influenced by Mozart. But you can definitely find some Mozart influ influence in his pieces. Yeah, like you can definitely hear the uh, Mozart influence. This part's going to get even trickier to play.
I am Asian, yes. <laughs> yes, I am Asian from Asia. Sounds okay. Um, I'm from Indonesia. Fellow Indonesian. Okay, so this part is quite trick tricky because of the uh, triplets. Thank you for the fireworks. Okay, hmm. Try to get the left hand clean in here.
thank you for coming to the stream. I'll play Chopin next time in the next stream. Alright. See you next time. Okay, that's, I think I've progressed a bit. I still have how many pages here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pages. But the pages are combined with the orchestra, so probably about four pages of piano music for this. I can chair though. I hope I can finish it quickly and well. Hmm. Maybe a little bit of capust in practice again.
I was here last time. Still tricky. Double notes like this are quite tricky to do, especially with jumps. like that I went slow but... I still can't play this one cleanly so the jump this jump is quite hard to do to execute properly and cleanly Because it's quite a jump for the uh, right hand, for pinky finger. Goes from B to E. That's a, a, a fifth. I'm gonna be stuck here quite a while now. Blanking out, like my mind goes blank when I reach that jump. Thank you. 
Yeah, I keep forgetting where to jump from here. Okay, I can play it slowly now. Wrong mm, fingering. Oh, hello, Vra. Uh, the title is um, Concert Etude Number Seven by Kapustin. It's titled um, Intermezzo. It's classical, but uh, with jazz, jazz idioms, jazz techniques, but still classical. Still stuck here. Okay, where's the score again? Okay, here it is. Da -da. The next part is going to be trickier. It's even trickier than before.
is almost I can almost get that one now but still let's try again yes like that now I need to speed up a bit Still not good. Yes, like that. Does it sound right and like it? Hmm. Okay, now I need to... I need to connect the two parts first. to take this a bit slowly That what it's that part again, the jump.
Let's try it from this part. Usually the one of the hardest part is when you've mastered um, a certain part connected it connecting it to the part before is quite tricky I'm starting to lose focus, to be honest. I think I have to stop here for now because I'm starting to lose focus.
it's quite taxing to practice actually let's say um it's draining your energy quite a bit and you just lose focus slowly until you just can't progress so i think um for now i think we'll stop here first and um, thank you so much for those who have come watching my stream i hope you enjoy it's been a fruitful practice i did progress a little bit i did say i'm going to take this slowly but at least i'm progressing so that's good i guess <laughs> um thank you for coming to stream and we'll see you next time for the next stream. Thank you. Goodbye.